Okay, here's the A bracket. It's our simplest bracket. No hole in the vertical sections of it. To install it, it's only installed on the very tops of columns and on the lower bars. Top bar, lower bar. The lower bar is either on the ladder side or opposite the ladder side. To install it, you bring it, bring the bottom of it parallel to the top, slide it over the bar, and drop it down into place. Turn the little keepers so that they lock against the tubes. Then to add another piece to it, simply lift up the part, get the top into place, swing the bottom down, and press it down, and lock it into place. The B bracket looks very much like the A bracket, except it's a little bit deeper here, and it has two holes punched in it for identification, here and here. It's used on the top of a column on the higher bar, as opposed to the lower bar where the A bracket is used. It's also used where there's two bars stacked together in any section of the column where there's a junction. To install the B bracket, do the same thing as the A bracket. You lift the bottom up parallel to the top and then rotate it down and turn the keepers to lock it in place. It's then ready to accept a part to come off. In this case, we're going to install it here on two at a junction and then install the other end of this onto that. So again, we'll rotate the top, the bottom up, bring it down, rotate the keepers into place, take our horizontal section, swing it into position, push it down, and rotate the keeper thumb screw. The D bracket is used to connect two horizontal pieces together. It connects the end of one anywhere to the side of another one. Take the D bracket, slide it in, just from this end, until it straddles those. Grab one of your pins, and drop your pin into position. Another pin, push your bracket into place, and put the thumb screws on from the bottom. Okay, this is the C bracket. It's exactly like the B bracket, except it has this bit of hardware on the back. What it does is fills a the empty side of a junction. It works while there's a B bracket in place or without the B bracket. It's important to know is if you're using B brackets and C brackets in the same area, you install the B bracket first. The C bracket goes in like this. Slide the big hardware up in there and then bring it back down to rest on top of the two bars. Then you turn the little locking keepers and it's all set. You can then add a piece of truss to it, just like any of the brackets. Slide it into the top two tabs, swivel the bottom down a little bit, and knock it down into place. This is our radius truss. It collapses flat just like any of our other truss except in a different direction. To open it, simply pop it open like that. There's no locking device to lock this, so it'll continue to swing like that. You can use it either in conjunction with a straight piece by bolting it on using four bolts with wing nuts at, through the square holes, or you can lock it onto any of our brackets. Just line up the top, swing the bottom in, and drop it into place. Now the issue here is there's no bar going across. So you take the thumb screw out of the back of the bracket, use the bar supplied, and put the thumb screw in through the front into the same hole it came out of.